Hi, I'm Ashley Bondi, and I support the Tunable Diode Laser product line. Today, I'm here to talk to you about your TDLS and calibration versus validation. TDLS technology is different from traditional technology in that the analyzer drift is negligible and does not affect analyzer performance. Because of this, calibration is not required in the field. Typically, when calibration is being questioned, there's another factor that's causing the discrepancy. If you suspect that calibration is necessary, you will need to consult with Yokogawa. To ensure proper analyzer functionality, we do recommend regular validations. Validations are especially important for analyzers that do not have reference cells and applications that have low concentrations of the gas being measured. The frequency in which validations are performed is application dependent. It is important to keep in mind, validation is a functionality test, not an accuracy check. The purpose of validation is to make sure the analyzer is responding when the measured gas is introduced and to make sure that the peak is positioned correctly for accurate measurement. There are four steps that occur when validation is performed. Number one, the analyzer takes a before snapshot of the process. Number two, Validation gas is introduced into the non-process area. Once the concentration has stabilized, the analyzer will take a during validation snapshot. Number three, the non-process area is purged out and the analyzer will take an after validation snapshot. It is important that the process is in steady operation during validation. If the before and after validation snapshots have too much deviation, validation will fail. Number four, the analyzer will display the pass or fail result. That's all I have for you today. Remember, validate, don't calibrate. And if you have any questions about this or any of our other products, please reach out to our support team.